Yo, what is up? This is the Brosis Effect. I'm Michael. This is Nicole. And then we're back at you with another video. We're going to be reacting to Wesley Harold films. So, Wesley Harold was Alex Bale's friend that I believe passed on the muse to this guy. So now he's starting to create content. And we're going to start hearing his side now. So, this thing is obviously spreading. So, it'll be interesting to see. We're going to be starting off with... Help me fund my first feature film. So it's about three months ago, actually. Okay. So. Yep. And then in just an update video on that same title. If he's so. doing a feature film, I think this has happy he was bars all over it. He was not having any luck, right? Before I remember him saying that. Hi there. My name is Wesley Harold. I'm a young independent filmmaker who just graduated from film school, and I am beginning work on my very first feature film and I won't be able to do it without you. I've been trying to fund this film for months, but coming across money for independent arts like this is really tough. That's why I'm turning to you all on the internet to help me crowdfund this passion project of mine. This film has a very deeply personal story. It's about the life of my grandfather, Eugene. Before Eugene passed away, he struggled with Alzheimer's. I took it upon myself to write down all of my favorite stories that he used to tell me as a kid so that they wouldn't be forgotten or lost to time. He was always very supportive of my dream to become a filmmaker. So in his honor, I'm turning those stories that he used to tell me into my first feature film. It's called 813 Maple Street, and it's named after the street he grew up on. Towards the end of his life, it got harder and harder for him to remember and to tell me these stories, which made writing the script for this film really a personal difficulty. But then I realized I could incorporate that into the film by having both the visuals and plot deteriorate as the film progressed. So the actors playing the characters will suddenly change. The names of places and things will suddenly get all mixed up. Visually, the film will become much more abstract and surreal to better represent what it's actually like to go through Alzheimer's and lose your memories. I'm looking to raise $25,000 to cover the costs of actors, equipment, locations, crew, everything we need to make this dream become a reality. If you donate even $1, it would mean the world to me. This is a film I feel like I have to make, not just for myself, as a filmmaker, but for my grandfather, Eugene, as well. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope I can count on your support. Okay, so that seemed pretty, pretty normal. So I almost wonder if this was pre-Muse. That's what I was assuming, because maybe the next one's about, I don't need the money, don't donate. However, I want to check something out. Go to the his description below. I'm just curious what it says, if there's actually a place to donate. Right, so it says, no, there's nowhere to actually donate, so where the heck would you do that? Fun fact, 813, the name of the film and street where Wesley's grandfather grew up is a real place, actually several places, houses, apartments, that sort of thing. The most interesting result is that 813 of Maple Street in Brooklyn, New York is a psychotherapy center. center. Wesley's grandfather's name is apparently Eugene Harold, which means... Which, which just, just happens, happens to be, be Mr. A, Krabs' first and middle names. Who knows what that might mean. I'm so excited, Wesley. I'll even ask my amused friend if I can give you a donation. What a me proposition. I'm sure you'll reach your $25,000 goal in no time at all. Yeah, I mean, this is people I'm sure maybe. vomiting who obviously know about the Muse ARG. So I I'm not really sure if this is influenced by the Muse or not. So let's watch the update video. Hi, everyone. My name is Wesley Harold. Some of you might have seen my previous video where I was raising money for my first feature film called 813 Maple Street. At the time, I was trying to raise $25,000. Well, today I can officially announce some amazing news. Not only did we reach our goal, but we more than doubled it. As of today, we've raised over $56,000, which is just insane. This is all thanks to a studio called HMF Entertainment. When they there saw my go. first crowdfunding video, not only did they like the idea so much that they bought the rights to it, they gave me more funding than I ever thought I was gonna get. This is honestly a dream come true for me. I was starting to think that this film might never get made, but thanks to HMF Entertainment, we're actually able to bring it to life and do it justice. HMF has also come onto the project as a creative partner, so there's gonna be a couple small changes to the plot that I think ultimately makes the film work a little bit better. First of all, it's no longer called 813 Maple Street. We've changed the title to 1313 Paradox Street, 
And if that name sounds familiar, it's because it was actually part of a viral marketing campaign that you might have seen during the Super Bowl. So this means that the film will actually now take place in the Paradox movie franchise. If you're not familiar, this franchise tells alien sci-fi stories that are disconnected but all take place in the same cinematic universe. But don't worry, HMF has stood by me and made sure that the emotional core of my film has not been changed. These are just some small changes that I think improve the film overall. The film will now be found footage, which means that everything we see was actually filmed by the characters, which is a really powerful storytelling device. The film also now takes place during an alien invasion, which I, you know, <laughs> it's a little bit different from the initial pitch, but, uh, uh, but, you know, I think an alien invasion is a perfect metaphor for my grandfather's struggle with Alzheimer's, so, you know, I honestly, it, it it's an even better film this way. Thank you again so much to everyone who made this possible, we especially knew that to was gonna Entertainment, happen. with whom I couldn't make this film without. I am so excited to start work on this project soon and honor my grandpa's legacy. I'm sure he'd still be really proud of me. Thanks again, everyone. Bye. Yeah, so I think it was pre... Oh yeah, for sure, that was pre-news. maybe any of those hints people were talking about in the comments, I mean, he's obviously in on this with Alex Bell, like, creating the ARG, so that's why there's things you can pick. Yeah, but I mean, the, this is, yeah. again, this is not actually happening, this is a creative uh, par or, uh, ARG, which is... What does ARG actually stand for? Let's go over that. Alternate reality. reality. Uh, what's the G? An alternate reality game is an interactive network narrative that uses the real world as a platform and employs transmedia storytelling to deliver a story that may be altered by players' ideas or actions. So it's almost like it's like a live game using, like creating a world, not necessarily like a, a game like with a controller. Um, but it, people it's like come a part concept. of it and try to like people add to can it. just add to it even if they don't know Alex Bale. They could just start saying, "I'm going to add to this ARG." It, it's it's a very interesting concept. So a couple things he mentioned the Paradox Files. That is one of the movies that cynical critic reviewed was the Paradox Files. So now this film he's doing is going to be part, part of, of the that. Part of the Paradox, which is Happy Meat that, Farms production. So yes. uh, they bought out the rights to Paradox, the Paradox films. They're funding his video, but they're changing it. You know, oh, there's a few little changes. They're completely changing the and entire then, thing. Knock, 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 when because he was Because he was about to it. say, no, I mean, it is quite a bit different. Knock, knock. Well, but it'll still honor, you know what I mean? So for some reason... This is going more into the alien thing. This is obviously alien invasion. I'm just assuming this what it is. It's it has to be. They keep putting in alien like little hints about aliens. You know, alien invasion. And I mean, that's a pretty big hint. So they always want these. I don't. I just don't get it. The whole concept, like how it makes too much sense to me yet. Like, what's the point of aliens coming down? and just playing with people instead of just doing what they have to do? Are they like getting a kick out of hanging, playing with people and getting what they want? I have no idea, it just, it's a little weird, but who knows, we don't know enough information yet, that's just my opinion. I think, I think it definitely is interesting. It's making people engage. It's making people question. It's new. I mean, there's so many alien things out there. And this is definitely a twist on aliens I've never seen, at least. The other thing I wanted to note on the paradox was that they mentioned another paradox um, short commercial that aired before a Super Bowl. And this is on the list of videos I wanted to watch. I was not expecting it, though, to come up in these films. So in our next video, we will watch it. But it is called Paradox 1313. And it was an actual clip that aired on TV. This isn't fake. This is a real thing that happened. So in one of our next videos, we'll definitely react to that because it's important. But all I can say is remember, Alex Bale's true passion is horror. 
So he has went to these lengths to get these different people to work with him to create this universe, to make this ARG. If he's behind real films coming out, it's pretty cool. Like how he's trying to build up this, this world to ultimately meet his goal, which might be a real actual film and not just YouTube videos. I'm definitely curious to see what comes of these Paradox films, if we see more YouTube videos from Wesley, from whoever involved in this ARG. Let us know your thoughts. Make sure to give this a like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next video.